Michael, what was your first impression of the Chandler Limited EMI Abbey Road Studios TG microphone? Well, I just had a chance to listen, get a good introduction to the uh, TG microphone and uh, went through all the settings and everything on my uh, acoustic guitar. And I have to say, I've never heard that guitar sound like that good with any other mic. Uh, I'm I'm blown away in a, in a totally open room. I don't hear any room. I hear the guitar right in front of my face, and it just sounds amazing. And with uh, all the settings on it, uh, you can modify the tone directly at the microphone, and then eliminate what you don't want in it, and or create what you do want. It's another gentler top hit. What were your first impressions on the Chandler Limited EMI yeah. Abbey Road Studios yeah. TG microphone? The first thing I had to record, I think at the time, was um, electric bass. So I, I put it up in front of a, a B15 cabinet and it was just like, you know, is this is this for real? Um, I had it up against a FET 47 and it was just like, you know, again, like bigger, better, more. On the TG mic, it's clearly fuller. It's got more top end extension. It's got more detail, more depth. And it's like, I don't have to EQ this. You know, whereas when I put a FET 47 on a bass cabinet, I almost always have to add bottom end. And this one, I just plugged it in and it just sounded awesome. Tried it on kick drum, same thing. Big uh, electric guitar, you know, same thing, big. Like this thing is just like, you know, you know, and the little switches on the back, it's super fun to have these things on the microphone at the source. So you don't have to do anything in the control room. Like if I don't have to EQ things, that's, that's awesome. That's a win. It's pretty brilliant. What's your first impression of the Chandler Limited EMI Abbey Road Studios TG microphone? Holy crap, dude. It was like three-dimensional. We put it up against my normal guitar amp setup, and it just blew my mind. It was crazy. Wade, I hate you. You're going to get me divorced. It's not going to be good. I'm going to have to sell all my mics and all my gear. I'll take two. <laughs> What was your first impression of the Chandler Limited EMI Abbey Road Studios TG microphone? I think my first impression was that the name is just way too long. It should have just one name, like awesome, or great, or kick-ass. How about that? Let's just rename it kick-ass. That was fantastic. It sounded great. It was huge. And uh, I loved it. Uh, it sounded like something I would want more of. I have a red and I have two reds and I love them. And this is kind of an extension, it's different, but but not too far away. It's a really beautiful sound of mine. What's your first impression of the Chandler Limited EMI Abbey Road Studios TG microphone? Uh, Holy oh, shit, dude. That's some thick shit right there. Uh -huh. Now that makes me smile. I am, uh, I'm shocked that it has so many tones. You know, I mean, like, there's like, what 20 different combinations you can use because i got a piece for it's that thing uh where it stays consistent on despite in spite of any dynamics it stays consistent across the frequency range you know it doesn't pinch that's way thicker than i expected it to be i mean it's it sounds like a it sounds like a 47 on that you know on that setting we haven't tried the others but Holy crap, I don't know if I would turn it. <laughs> it sounds great, man. Okay, Mitch, what was your first impression of the Chandler Limited EMI Abbey Road Studios TG microphone? On first impression, I was pretty blown away. It's very open, huger than probably anything I have in the studio. And the EQ, the ability to, to tweak it on the fly, was brilliant. I could even have the artist reach around and flip it around for me, and uh, I really enjoyed using it. And uh, it's gonna become one of my go-to microphones. Love it. So what was your first impression of the Chandler Limited EMI Abbey Road Studios TG microphone? Well, it is it is absolutely the most versatile mic I've ever encountered. It'd be great on drums, because it can handle those high SPLs. It'd be great on guitar cabinets. It'd be great on like voiceovers in a world you know one of those kind of things setting five is that what it was setting five 
it, it can go from being great on acoustic guitar and give you this nice shimmery sound to being something that's almost dark if you want to like tone down something. Man, the tonalities this thing gives is uh, pretty dramatic. We need to come up with another really killer idea. This is a brilliant idea. Okay, Bobby, so what was your first impression of the Chandler Limited EMI Abbey Road Studios TG microphone? I freaking loved it. It was, uh, first impression was super versatile, um, like crazy versatile. We used it on uh, electric guitar, acoustic guitar, and vocals, and I didn't hear it sound bad. It, uh, especially on female vocal, um, some of the EQ settings really uh, worked really well with the top end, like not sibilant, but nice and present, but not sibilant, which was fantastic. Um, on the electric guitar, we had it up against some, some classics, and it sounded much bigger and fuller and uh, it's just colorful in a good way. It was just amazing sounding. I will have about five of them if I can afford them. <laughs>